Hello, you beautiful souls. This is Dr. Barry. And on this channel, we love talking about everything that creates beauty, mind, body, and skin. So if that's what you're interested in, definitely make sure you subscribe to this channel. In this particular video, we're going to talk about how to use sacred geometry and stones to do a simple chakra based meditation. So stay tuned. So what we have here is a meditation board and it is a wooden board that has the sacred geometry of the Merkaba. Now Merkaba in the um, Judaic faith represents the ascension chariot or the chariot of God. So basically it is the chariot in which a soul ascends to a higher level of a, or a higher spiritual existence, a higher dimension, and also descends from there as well. So in various different, um, you know, esoteric philosophies of J the Judaic faith, they discuss the fact that whenever the um, enlightened beings, angels, gods had to come down to earth, they would use the Merkaba, and also to ascend away from earth, they would use the Merkaba. Now, it, how I like to use the Merkaba, it, it's basically, and I know there's a video that I had done on the Merkaba or understanding the Merkaba or the light body. So definitely check out that video. I'll put a link to it um, in this video as well. But the Merkaba is a double prism. So it has the, um, it's like a double prism kind of full, um, onto itself. So there's a top part and then there's a bottom part. So the bottom kind of it is the light that em, uh, that is emitted from below you and then the top prism that comes down. So it's like a double prism that's moving in different directions, opposite directions to each other. And as that the prism moves, it creates the energies to ascend the consciousness to a higher level of or, or light, a, a higher plane of existence. Now, how do we use this in chakra meditation? So that is the basic geometry of the Merkaba, but it is depicted here on the board as a triangle that is facing upwards, which represents the masculine energy, and then a triangle that's facing downwards, which represents the feminine energy. Now, of course, all of us, each and every one of us has both masculine and feminine energies within ourselves. So we know that um, based on Tantra philosophy, we, we understand that there is the masculine and the feminine, which, you know, boils down to the way you think, your emotions, the way you respond to things. So we have a little bit of both. Sometimes, uh, you know, one can be balanced. Sometimes one cannot be. And each chakra actually has both of those energies. So whether we're talking about the root chakra, where your stability strength is, or your um, creativity chakra, so we can have a, a balance of both masculine and feminine energies in each chakra. Now, when we want to do a chakra-based meditation, I like using stones that depict the specific color of the chakra. So you can grab any stone that is um, the color of the chakra. Obviously, there are um, specific crystals for each type of um, chakra, but I like using, um, to keep things simple, we're going to go with the color. So like a red stone would represent your root chakra, an orange stone would represent your sacral chakra, and then a yellow stone would represent the solar, plex uh, the solar plexus chakra, which is your third chakra. Then the green stone will represent your heart chakra. A blue stone, and I love lapis lazuli, so that's my favorite go-to stone for the throat chakra. Um, and you can use this. Um, and for the third eye, you could use an amethyst, a purple amethyst, and, and or a purple color, color that represents the third eye. And then for the crown chakra, you could just use um, a simple um, clear rose quartz as well. Now, I like to keep um, these crystal rose quartz as a side pillar, which is more for like protection of your energetic field so quartz are really good um, protection stones that you could place around the sacred geometry so the sacred geometry represents a reflection of your own energetic field so you're kind of imagining seeing yourself your your energetic body in front of you and that's what the stone with the placements represent now at times you could use like different auric stones as well like different color quartz stones to just create that energetic kind of boundary or that um, protection boundary. Um, I do like to use tea light candles, which I put on the side. So when I'm ready for my meditation, I have I do light the tea light candles. And then when you're sitting down, obviously, you're going to go through each chakra and your intention will be for the stones to absorb the negativity from the chakra, helping you create balance within. So that is the intention you're going to set. So each stone represents the earth element and it's going to absorb the negativity 
negativity from your body. So it's with intention. You allow the energy to release the, the things that do not serve you. You allow them to release and get captured by the stone. And as you're done with this, so say you do this for 10 or 15 minutes. I know I have a guided meditation for chakra bones. So definitely check that out. And as you let that, um, you know, energy be released from you, you are um, definitely, you know, the protection stones is, um, you know, a protection that you ask for before you start the meditation. And then, of course, when you're doing the releasing or the intention of releasing it, these stones capture that energy. Now, it's very important to also know at the end of your meditation, how do you take care of these stones and how do you um, cleanse them? That's very important. So, so some simple ways of cleansing the stones is obviously putting them in like salt water and um, kind of just cleansing them with salt because salt is really a you know it, the salt has been used in a, as an occultic tool for centuries so it's really good to like pull out negative energy um, the other really good way of cleansing stones is putting them out in the sun and just letting the sunlight kind of penetrate like into them and like cleanse off the the things that you know you don't need and um, because crystals are, are very, very powerful earth elements and they really trap energy within them. And so before you are, um, you know, ready to use them again, make sure you do that cleansing. Um, there are certain full moons that are also good to lay your crystals out. Not all of them. I usually don't do them during solar eclipses. I don't put my stones out. Um, so the months that have the energy of solar eclipses, I generally tend to not put stones out in the moonlight. I would rather put them in the sun or, um, you know, cleanse them with the salt. So I just wanted to share this tip. I know sacred geometry is something that a lot of people get very intrigued by. So what we use um, at the spa, we actually have this board available on our website. So BeMindBodySkin.com. So definitely check that with, um, out. We have the whole kit available with the stones and with the tea lights so you can get it as a set so definitely check that out on bemindbodyskin.com and it's a really beautiful way to set up your meditation um, area and um, really get that nice blissful feeling when you're meditating uh, purposefully so with that I wish you guys a lot of love and light I hope this video was helpful and um, many blessings take care bye bye